Hi, this is Vanessa with the latest Azen News, and here they are. Azen leaders begin summit in Cambodia, agree to admit East Timor as member. The bloc said in a statement the Association of Southeast Asian Nations began an annual summit in Cambodia and agreed in principle to admit East Timor as the group's 11th member. The Half Island Nation, which is officially called Timor Leste, will also be granted observer status at high level ASEAN meetings, the bloc said, after regional leaders met in Phnom Penh to discuss the issue. The summit is likely to be dominated by Myanmar's escalating violence and political gridlock, with increasingly frustrated members of the group struggling to get the country's junta to comply with an agreed peace plan. Several representatives of ASEAN have blamed Myanmar's military rulers for failing to implement a peace plan agreed jointly last year, which include ending hostilities and allowing access for a special envoy and aid. Cambodian Prime Minister and ASEAN host Hun Sen addressed Friday's opening ceremony with a call for vigilance and wisdom during times of economic and geopolitical turmoil. U.S. President Joe Biden, as well as Chinese Premier Li Qixian, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, and South Korean President Yoon suk yeol and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov will also attend the meeting. ASEAN leaders attend retreat session in Cambodia. Leaders of Southeast Asian nations held informal talks at a retreat session in Cambodia as part of the 40th and 41st Association of Southeast Asian Nations Summit. Cambodian Prime Minister and ASEAN host Hun Sen, as well as representatives from other countries in the bloc, Brunei, Laos, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam, were present at a meeting in Phnom Penh. Details about what was discussed were not immediately available. Meetings at the summit are expected to be dominated by Myanmar's escalating violence and political gridlock, with increasingly frustrated members of the group struggling to get the country's junta to comply with an agreed peace plan. The bloc said in a statement they had agreed, in principle, to admit Istimor as the group's 11th member. Rights Group slams ASEAN for allowing Myanmar Junta's continuous participation in the bloc. Fortify Rights, an independent non-profit organization, slammed the ASEAN for its abject failure of leadership in dealing with the conflict in Myanmar. ASEAN leaders held talks in Phnom Penh with global leaders that were nominated by effort to address a failing peace plan in Myanmar, as well as responses to other tensions in the region. In a statement issued, Fortify Rights said it had obtained a leaked internal ASEAN document from a well-placed source which had proposed that Myanmar Junta's full participation in all ASEAN meetings be maintained apart from summits and foreign ministers' meetings. With regard to the hunters participation Patrick Pong Satorn, an official at Fortify Rights, said ASEAN should suspend Myanmar's participation through the bloc so that Junta cannot continue to stymie any progress towards peace. I mean, what it means is that they can continue to be part of the conversation um, in terms of how to actually deal with the crisis. But they are the root cause of the crisis. So how can they be part of the solution? Um, I mean, this week, Justice for Myanmar, another advocacy group, uh, uncovered that um, Myanmar will be leading the Air Force coordination uh, meetings within ASEAN. And that's all whilst uh, the Hunters Air Force is indiscriminately bombing, bombing civilian populations throughout the country. This is really unacceptable. How can ASEAN continue uh, to allow this murderous uh, hunter to continue to be part of, uh, of this bloc? ASEAN, which has paired Myanmar's junta leaders from its meetings since last year, repeated its commitment to the so-called five-point peace consensus, but some members have been pushing a stronger stance. Indonesian Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi said talks on Myanmar were open and intensive. According to a statement issued after the meeting, ASEAN will stick by the five-point consensus, but after little progress, leaders concluded a need for an implementation plan to outline concrete, practical and measurable indicators with a specific timeline.
Antonio Guterres urges to release political prisoners in Myanmar. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres met with ASEAN in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, demanded the release of political prisoners in Myanmar. I repeat my call on the Myanmar authorities to release all political prisoners and launch an inclusive process immediately to return to the democratic transition. This is the only route to lasting peace and security. Southeast Asian heads of government issued a warning to Myanmar to make measurable progress on a peace plan or risk being barred from the bloc's meetings as social and political chaos escalates in the country. The ASEAN said that after little progress on the five-point peace consensus agreed jointly last year, leaders concluded a need for concrete, practical and measurable indicators with a specific timeline. ASEAN will review Myanmar's representation at all levels of meetings, having paired its military leaders from top meetings since last year. Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand seek to strengthen economic ties through ASEAN summit. Leaders from Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand attended the Growth Triangle Summit, part of the ASEAN summit in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, to strengthen economic ties. The 41st ASEAN summit aims to stimulate economic development in the three countries that share close borders and linguistics. Top leaders from around Asia and beyond, including U.S. President Joe Biden, are expected to participate in various regional forums to discuss ways to enhance bilateral cooperation and economic partnerships. More than 10,000 security forces have been deployed to maintain security and safety. Cambodian artists recreates traditional masks for ASEAN summit. Rows of intricately decorated masks made by artist Taming Swan lie in an exhibition table on Wednesday at the Soka Hotel in Cambodia, which is hosting leaders from around the region for the 41st ASEAN Summit. Artist Tami Swan is behind the masks, which are recreations of those worn in Lakon Kol, a centuries-old tradition of Cambodian mask theatre and dance performances. Lakun Kol was inscribed by UNESCO, the United Nations Cultural Agency, into its list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding in 2018, as practitioners of the traditional performance dwindled among younger generations. Taming said the UNESCO development spurred him into learning how to create the masks in the hopes of spreading awareness about Cambodian culture to a larger audience. Taming said he has seen healthy demand for the mask creations from both domestic and overseas buyers. Indonesians march for justice after deadly soccer stampede. Thousands of football fans protested in Indonesia's East Java, demanding further investigation into police conduct at Stampede that killed 135 people after a match in October. Indonesia's Human Rights Commission has said police officers firing of tear gas was the main trigger for the fatal Stampede. On October 1st, at Malang's Kanjuruhan Stadium, the worst tragedy at the soccer match since 1964. Indonesian authorities at the Indonesian Football Association have faced questions over why police fired 45 rounds of tear gas inside the stadium, a crowd control measure banned by World Soccer Governing Party, FIFA. Six people, including police and match organizers, are facing criminal charges after the stampede. FIFA has set up an office in Indonesia to help overhaul safety measures as the country prepares to host the Under-20 World Cup next year. Chinese Premier hold talks with Cambodian Prime Minister on strengthening bilateral cooperation. 
Chinese Premier Li Keqiang held a meeting with Cambodian Prime Minister Samrek Teko Hun Sen in Phnom Penh on deepening mutual beneficial cooperation between China and Cambodia. China stands ready to enhance high-level interaction and communication with Cambodia, support each other on respective core interests and major concerns, and promote continue to and major concerns and promote continued and sound development of China-Cambodia relations to the benefit of their people. China will increase imports of fine Cambodia agriculture products and support Cambodia in accelerating industrialization. Stressing that a stable and prosperous Cambodia has great significance for regional stability, development, and the growth of relations between China and the ASEAN. For his part, Hun Sen said that Cambodia and China are ironclad friends and the bilateral friendship is endorsed and supported by the Cambodian people. Noting that Cambodia firmly upholds the One China policy and supports building the Cambodia China community with a shared future. ASEAN leaders meet dialogue partners from China, Japan, South Korea to strengthen cooperation. Leaders of China, Japan and South Korea held talks with the ASEAN leaders in Cambodia as part of the 40th and the 41st ASEAN summits. Chinese Premier Li Keqiang, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, as well as South Korean President Yoon seok yeol were present at a meeting in Phnom Penh. All leaders urged stronger joint efforts to overcome complex future crises, such as those stemming from war and right abuses worldwide, as well as risks to security of food and energy. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching ASEAN News program for today. Enjoy your weekdays ahead. Stay safe, stay healthy.